Welcome. In this video, you'll learn how to implement a self-service analytics framework. Analytics play a vital role in today's business world. They help us make informed decisions, drive productivity, and gain valuable insights from our data. But to truly make the most of analytics, you need to implement a self-service analytics framework. Before we dive in, let's outline our learning objectives for this session. We'll review the importance of self-service analytics, explore the key components of a self-service analytics framework, and discuss a few best practices for your framework. In this session, we'll walk through these key components of a self-service framework and review some best practices to implement. Creating a governed and trusted environment is essential. Establish clear governance policies and compliance measures to maintain data integrity and security. Manage access with a combination of a user's site role. Whether they are an administrator, creator, explorer, or viewer, and their individual permissions. Permissions will determine what a user can and can't access, as well as the level of interactivity they have with that piece of content. To help keep things as straightforward as possible, we recommend first, setting permission rules for groups instead of users. Second, managing permissions locked at the project level instead of setting permissions on individual content. And third, deleting the all user groups permission rule or setting all capabilities to none. Permissions in Tableau are restrictive. Unless a capability is granted to a user, they are denied permission. This logic is followed to evaluate if a capability is allowed or denied for an individual. Trust is established when users understand where the data comes from, who owns it, if it is always up to date or refreshed on a schedule, and the different KPI meanings. Centrally manage and share your published data sources to provide standardized data sets that can be reused by others. Creating standards for published data sources ensures a business-friendly data model that has organization guidelines established, such as common calculations, comments to explain what certain fields mean, etc. Listed on screen are a few best practices for creating and maintaining your published data sources. Communications are important to help users discover content. Tableau features that help users find relevant content include global search, tags, favorite views, alerts, subscriptions, and full web authoring. You can also surface interesting content to wider audiences by publishing a newsletter, forming user groups to showcase work, or embedding dashboards into an internal wiki page. Comments let you share a conversation about data discoveries with other Tableau server or Tableau cloud users. Monitoring usage is a critical piece of the self-service model as it allows IT and site administrators to be proactive and responsive about usage, performance, and failures. Lastly, provide a place where users can get support or training when they do have questions. Formal training can be provided through Tableau e-learning and virtual classroom training. Internal training, like data doctor sessions or forums, can be provided for your users. We recommend that you encourage your users to join our Tableau community, where they can participate in weekly challenges like Prep and Data, Makeover Monday, or Workout Wednesday. Other community projects are also available to keep users learning. Our community leaders may inspire your users through their blogs, YouTube channels, and so on. To recap, we've discussed the importance of self-service analytics in making informed decisions, explored the key components of a self-service analytics framework, and highlighted best practices throughout. For more detailed information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching and embark on your analytics journey with confidence.